those loose. Clean her out, set it aside. And what happens here is there's four 10 millimeter bolts, two on each throttle body that hold the air cleaner base down to the to the throttle bodies. But I'm all I'm always real careful about these fuel injectors dropping a wrench on them or something. I've done that a few times, and so I'm uh, pretty careful about that. What I do is I use a 10 millimeter ratchet with an extension on it to keep me way up way up away from them. But these are on pretty snug. And these these uh, four bolts do not come out. They only come loose. They're part of a locking collar that you can take off if that's the way you like to do it. Usually I just leave them on there and pull the whole, whole base assembly off. But either way, like I say, you can just take the locking collar off like this and set it aside. And after you get those four bolts loose, again, they do not come out. They only come loose. They're part of the locking collar. There's four four hoses that dis need to be disconnected. Got this one right here. It's a small hose that just pops back through. Got the crank crankcase ventilation hose on the passenger side here that just pops off like this. And this, this smog hose right here just pops through the base assembly. And then there's, you, have to, you also have to disconnect this heat riser stove pipe. You can, you can either just pull it off the manifold down here or there's a, a pipe clamp up on the where it enters into the snorkel on the breather assembly that you can just unscrew that, pull it off, pull it back this way. Either way, there's one more hose in the back side. Again, I'm real careful about the, the fuel injectors. I forget which one's which, but one of them is $250, give or take. The other one's about 300 bucks, give or take. So snapping something off out there wouldn't be, wouldn't be good. I just lift the assembly up like this. And then you've got the one hose on the back side here. It's a vacuum line hose that you just disconnect like that. Then the assembly's free to take off, set aside. And the two gaskets that are kind of important that a lot of people forget about are these two gaskets right here on the base of the air cleaner assembly that sit, that sit right on top of the these two gaskets sit right on top of the throttle bodies they're kind of important if they're brittle cracked aren't seated correctly you're just going to have some vacuum issues down there if I just replaced these two gaskets, mine were mine were very brittle and cracked out real bad. But they have to be sitting in there straight also. Uh, the only thing I can tell you is when you put the base assembly back on, again, be careful about the fuel injectors, plastic parts on them. And one of the most important things that I learned is don't pinch these wires. Sometimes people set the base back, they'll pinch these wires right here none of the wire none of the wires around here should be pinched when you put the base back on and that's pretty much it pretty much it replacing these two gaskets right here that are pretty important yeah I'm at uh, reinstalling this now and I just wanted to show you the locking collar here you can just 
you can set it back down on there. And then you can just finger tighten the bolts.